This is my top six boxers you should watch if you are new to boxing. And uh, before we go, y'all already know what to do. Make sure y'all drop a like, comment as well, and hey, subscribe to the channel. We are almost at 100 subs, so let's go. What's up, YouTube, and welcome back. Like I said, this is my top six boxers you should watch if you're new to boxing or if you recently just got into boxing. And uh, this list is in no particular order. This list is a bunch of just a bunch of bad dudes. And uh, with the recent events of having these non-boxers, you know, in a boxing ring like the Jake Pauls and, you know, so on, a lot of people, they're bringing in a lot of fans. And a lot of people have asked me recently, you know, who are some of the boxers that I should watch? Who are some of these fighters that are entertaining that I should watch? And li this list is for you. This list is for you. I'm going to give you the boxer. I'm going to give you a fight that you should watch. And uh, I know a lot of people like trash talkers. You know, I'm, I'm going to give you if they're a trash talker or not. So uh, let's go ahead and go. At number one, we got Mexico's own Canelo Alvarez. Canelo Alvarez is, by many, too many, the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter in boxing. The number one boxer in the sport. Canelo Alvarez currently campaigns at the super middleweight division. Currently holds the WBC and the WBA super middleweight championships of the world. Canelo Alvarez has a fight this Saturday against WBO super middleweight champion Billy Joe Saunders and the fight is selling. The fight is selling the you know the trash talk between you know mostly between Billy Joe Saunders but Canelo also it is it makes it look like you know that's a fight that you want to watch you know so if you want to watch that fight like I said this Saturday on the zone you know it is a unification fight and it looks like it's going to be a great fight. I'm excited to watch it. So, y'all don't miss Canelo Alvarez this Saturday. But, Canelo Alvarez is a fighter who has defense and who has offense. Canelo Alvarez slips punches. He dips and Like, his defense is amazing. But his offense is just as amazing. Canelo Alvarez has the speed. He has the power. He has the counter punch. He has the body attack. Canelo Alvarez is the real deal who has the total package. Canelo, also, Canelo Alvarez is also a pay-per-view star. And, it, and, you know, he's selling these pay-per-views. So Canelo Alvarez is a fighter that you should watch. And uh, the fight that you should watch is his fight versus Daniel Jacobs. Daniel Jacobs was a world champion. Canelo Alvarez made him look ordinary. So y'all make sure y'all tune into that fight. And uh, if you're looking for a trash talker, Canelo Alvarez really isn't the guy for you. At number two, Dallas, Texas own Earl the True Spence Jr. Like Canelo, Earl Spence is a pay-per-view star who sells pay-per-views, sells out stadiums. And uh, he currently campaigns at the welterweight division and currently holds the IBF and the WBC welterweight championships of the world. Earl Spence is a bigger welterweight, so he is a bully. He's there to pressure you, to bully you, and, and wear you down with his strength, you know. And on top of that, he has probably the best body attack in boxing. He is a bully, and he's a beast. His work rate is untouched, and um, Earl Spence is a fighter that you should watch, and he definitely is a beast. The fight that I think you should watch is his fight versus Sean Porter. At the time, Sean Porter was the WBC welterweight champion of the world they both gave us a terrific fight an amazing fight and you definitely won't be disappointed when you watch the fight so make sure y'all check out Earl Spence and if you're looking for a trash talker Earl Spence is really not the guy for you at number three we got Omaha's own Terrence Bud Crawford Terrence Bud Crawford is one of the some people have Terrence Bud Crawford at number one pound for pound. Terrence Bud Crawford is definitely as is 
Canelo Alvarez and Earl Spence is definitely top three, pound for pound. <laughs> when it comes to Terrence Bud Crawford, Terrence Bud Crawford is a switch hitter. He is a beast. He's mean. He's a mean, smaller welterweight who can box and, like I said, is a switch hitter. Terrence Bud Crawford is a beast. And if you want to check Terrence Crawford out, which you definitely should, the fight that I would say you should watch with Terrence Crawford is his fight versus Jose Benavidez. The lead up to the fight was awesome. The trash talk was awesome. And uh, make sure y'all check Terrence Crawford out. When it comes to Terrence Crawford, is he a trash talker? He sort of is. So if you're looking for a trash talker, Terrence Crawford, you know, he trash talks. So check Terrence Crawford out. And uh, let's go. Number four. We have Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury is a champion at welterweight, at welterweight, at a heavyweight. Tyson Fury is 6'9". Tyson Fury is almost 300 pounds. Tyson Fury can box. He doesn't even move like a welter. He doesn't move like a heavyweight. He moves like a lightweight. Tyson Fury has... Tyson Fury would surprise you if you're new to boxing. If you haven't really seen boxing, if you really don't watch boxing, Tyson Fury would definitely surprise you with the way he moves around the ring with his size. Tyson Fury has dethroned two of the number one heavyweights in boxing, in Klitschko and Wilder at the time when they were both number one. And Tyson Fury is definitely a guy you should watch. When it comes to what fight I think you should watch with Tyson Fury, I would say check out both Wilder fights. Tyson Fury looked amazing in both Wilder fights. And uh, make sure y'all check Tyson Fury out. When it comes to trash talking, Tyson Fury is definitely a trash talker. And if not the best, he's definitely one of the best trash talkers in the sport of boxing. Tyson Fury is from the UK and... Uh, Y'all should check, check him out. Check Tyson Fury out, definitely. At number five, we got Teofimo Lopez, who currently campaigns at the lightweight division. Teofimo Lopez is a beast. Teofimo Lopez, for the lightweight division, is a big guy, and who currently is the champion at lightweight, who dethroned the number one pound-for-pound -pound fighter, in boxing in Vasily Lomachenko. Teofimo Lopez has the speed, he has the power, he has the charisma, he has even has the dance moves. He'll dance on you, do a backflip, Fortnite dance, whatever you want to do. But when it comes to, uh, to Teofimo Lopez, a fight that I think you should look out for and watch is his his fight with Vasily Lomachenko. Like I said, some Lomachenko is the number one fighter in the world. Teofimo Lopez defeated him and uh He's on top of the world right now. So check out Teofimo Lopez. And if you're looking for a trash talker, Teofimo Lopez is definitely a trash talker. And definitely somebody that you should watch if you're into trash talking. And at number six. Number six. We got. This is going to surprise some of y'all. Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo is currently campaigning at the super welterweight division. <laughs> He is currently a unified champion, and Jamel Charlo is very underrated when it comes to, you know, him. It just, it, it, when it comes to Jamel Charlo, he's definitely underrated. Jamel Charlo is a beast. He has the power. He has the boxing ability. He has, you know, he's a bigger guy. He definitely has the charisma, and, um, yeah. Jamel Charlo is a fighter that you guys should check out. And uh, if you're looking for a trash talker, Jamel Charlo is definitely some guy to look at when it comes to trash talking. Jamel Charlo, I think you should watch his fights with Harrison, one and two. Both of them, you won't be disappointed. And uh, yeah, that's my top six boxers you should watch if you're not into boxing. If you just started watching boxing, that is my list. And um, like I said, we're bringing in all these guys that, you know, come from 
Jake Paul or Logan Paul or KSI or even Ryan Garcia. You know, these guys that don't really watch boxing as much. This is the video for you guys. So make sure y'all tune in. And um, yeah, for the guys that have been watching boxing that, you know, are hardcore boxing fans, y'all let me know down in the comments. Y'all help me out. What's a fighter that these guys that don't watch boxing as much or are getting just getting into the sports who is a fighter that they should watch y'all let me know down in the comments who is a fighter that these newer guys should watch i didn't try to add anybody that was kind of out of their prime or somebody that is a young and up and coming prospect i tried to add guys that are you know in their prime and that are doing their thing right now so i didn't add the Virgil ortiz or Jerron ennis or pacquiao or anybody like that golovkin or anybody like that but y'all let me know down in the comments. Help me out. Help these guys out. Who's a fighter they should watch and keep their eyes on. And uh, yeah, don't forget. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to the channel. We're on the road to 100 subs. So uh, let's go.